Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a card trick that is pretty simple. It was probably one of the first card tricks that I ever learned. It's not hard at all. You can do it as a beginner. You can do it as someone who's dealt with cards a long time. Um, but by and large, it's a really simple trick. Without further ado, let's get right into... <laughs> So let's get right into the trick. All right, so for this trick, we're gonna need the two queens. They're gonna help us in a second. What we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna have you just call it stop anytime you'd like. Let's say you say stop right there. The ace of hearts. All right, what we're gonna do with the ace of hearts is we're actually gonna place it right there. And I'd say about center of the deck. And we're just gonna push that in. Now, what they're gonna do, is we're gonna have one on the bottom and one on top or switch that so one on bottom one on top and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna throw the cards into the other hand and one card out of these 52 are gonna stay in between the two queens now your card was the ace of hearts right just like that the queens have trapped the ace of hearts so that was the trick guys and let's get right into the tutorial all right so for this trick like i said we need the two red queens it can be two of any kind i just like to use the queens it could be the black kings it could be the red aces it could be whatever you want this is impromptu they can select any card they like let's say they select the ten of hearts all right what you're going to do from now is you're going to find some way to control this card to the bottom of the deck. What I did was a spread control where, let's say, they stopped at the 10 of hearts. Take this card right here and you flip it over and as you flip it over, you drop it on top. And you wanna do this kinda of quick like that so, and most people won't catch it. Then you take that bogus card and place it in the center of this packet and then you do what is I think called like a Pac-Man cut like that and place it in the center of the deck and now they think this is their card when their card is actually on top go ahead and push that card in and now what I did was just an overhand shuffle to get it to the bottom there's plenty of other ways that you can control it to the bottom but whatever way fits you is fine. Once you have the card on the bottom, you're going to take the two queens. You're going to place one on top and one on the bottom. And you kind of want to out jog it a little bit. Now, you don't want to flip it over because that's their card right there. So what you do is you hold the cards like this. You can hold it like this. You can hold it a little higher like this. But what, you're, what you want to have happen is these back four fingers are gonna be able to grip onto this card and this card so that when you throw it all the other cards are in the other hand except for these two that stuck to the bottom hand and this top one that stuck to the thumb <clears throat> and then from there you can reveal it's their card and that's the entire trick in a nutshell. So that was the two helpful queens trick, guys. I hope you liked this. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and comment down below if there's any other tricks or slides that you'd like me to show on this channel. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to add new people to the channel every day. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.